हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु कांडपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट एम एस कॉलेज फॉर वीमेन बीकानेर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एस एम ऑन नेशनल प्रेजिडिस रिटन बाय ऑलिवर गोल्ड स्मिथ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट द ऑथर एंड अबाउट द एस ए इंट्रोडक्शन टू द ऑथर ऑलिवर गोल्ड स्मिथ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर एटीन सेंचुरी English writers was born on November 10, 1730 in Kilkenny, West Ireland. Lived a fascinating life of contradictions between his unquestionable brilliance and self-destructive tendencies. Goldsmith was born sometime between 1728 and 1731 to a poor Irish family. He was one of seven children, and his father was a county vicar. He was an Anglo-Irish essayist, poet, novelist, dramatist, and eccentric. Made famous by such work as the series of essays, "The Citizen of the World," or "Letters from a Chinese Philosopher," the poem. the deserted village and the novel the vicar of wakefield and the play she stoops to conquer his essays are remarkable and known for their extraordinary power boldness and originality uh, goldsmith had in addition a unique vein of humor he has an natural instinct of humor uh, which constitutes one of the secrets of his charm in whatever he wrote he is natural spontaneous both in his ideas and language goldsmith's success as a writer lay partly in the charm of his personality emanated by his style his affection for his characters uh, that is why he is known for his simplicity and nobility of his style his his mischievous irony and his spontaneous in charge of gaiety and sadness he was as a writer natural simple affecting goldsmith saw people human situations and indeed the human predicament from the comic point of view he was a realist something of a satirist but in his final judgments unfailingly charitable introduction to the essay on national prejudices what the word prejudice convey it means an in favorable unfavorable opinion or feeling formed without knowledge Precon preconceived idea or preconception in his essay on national prejudices which was first published in the british magazine in august 1760 goldsmith argues that it is possible to love love one's own country without hating the natives of other countries so as the title suggests this essay is about national prejudices in his famous essay on national prejudices he recounts an encounter meeting with a group of elderly gentlemen discussing about nationalism he came in contact with a group of elderly people discussing about nationalism and uh, they were involved in discussing the traits of the people of diverse nations of europe he is also part of that company one man described the different people of europe in negative way but praised the english for their bravery generosity and clemency okay clemency means for their mercy 
etcetera and they are the best of everyone in the world when asked for an opinion goldsmith decided not to talk on it as it is for sure he will contradict that statement so in that company one of them suffers from negative prejudices that is biased he was biased again towards french german dutch and spanish and entitles english as the best and praises them for their bravery generosity and mercy so when uh, goldsmith was asked for an opinion goldsmith decided not to discuss it as he will sure contradict that statement the essayist coming out of the na narrow national boundaries mentions the positive aspects of these nations and the negative aspects associated with english while the rest of the group agreed with the men when directly asked goldsmith expressed his thought reluctantly in his opinion we should view ourselves as being part of the whole world and not just one nation part of one country to be proud of he concludes by stating that yes it is okay to be proud of one's own land and country yes it gives a feeling of um happiness it uh, makes anyone proud of the achievements of the good things of the best things of one's own land and country but that doesn't mean that you should criticized or you have an biased attitudes toward the towards uh, other people or other countries narrowing our minds won't make anything useful what we should we should feel we should behave as being part of the whole world we are citizens of the whole world not just one nation uh, if we confine ourselves to one nation it means we are narrowing our minds and attitudes we are adopting a biased attitude towards other people instead try to be a citizen of the whole world without the need to hate others if you have um, like for your country this it doesn't mean that you should hate others you should behave like citizen of the whole world you should move out of that cocoon and uh consider yourself being part of the whole world uh this is a, a short introduction about the author and about the essay on national prejudices thank you